Let's look into more factors that can affect how quickly the liver can clear drug from the body using the well-stirred model. This time, we're going to look at intrinsic clearance. In the well-stirred equation, intrinsic clearance is represented by CL sub I. Intrinsic clearance reflects how well the liver removes drug by metabolism and by biliary excretion. The liver puts a lot of effort into changing drug molecules to make them more water-soluble. Why? Because the kidneys and the liver, via the biliary tract, excrete water-soluble drugs much more efficiently than they excrete lipid-soluble drugs. Drugs that are already water-soluble, like genomycin, are eliminated quickly in the urine, with the drug largely being undetectable 8 to 12 hours after a dose. But think of a drug like marijuana. Tetrahydrocannabinol is hard to dissolve in water. Only 2.8 milligrams of THC will dissolve in a liter of water. A person might have a positive urine drug test up to a week after a single use of marijuana. To get rid of THC, the liver has to process it into a more water-soluble molecule. How does the liver make a molecule more water-soluble? Physically separate the positive charge on the molecule from the negative charge. That is, make the molecule more polar. The liver has two major strategies for doing this. Phase one, which is also called biotransformation, this is where the liver physically rearranges the drug molecule to separate the positive and the negative charges. And then phase two, which is known as conjugation. Attach another molecule to the drug to make it longer, thus separating the charges. Phase one, biotransformation, involves oxidation, reduction, or hydrolysis, and is mediated primarily by the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. The P450 enzymes are organized based on similarity in their genetic structures. For example, cyclosporin is metabolized by enzymes that are grouped into the cytochrome P450 3A family. Cyclosporin is a drug that's given to people who have undergone an organ transplantation. It suppresses the patient's immune system to prevent it from attacking the newly transplanted organ. It's also very toxic, and doses need to be adjusted carefully. Too much cyclosporin and damage to the kidneys and high blood pressure might result. Too little, and the patient may reject the new organ. Like other P450 enzymes, the 3A family can be induced or inhibited by other drugs. Erythromycin is a CYP3A inhibitor. Giving a patient erythromycin can reduce the activity of 3A enzymes. Less enzyme activity may cause the metabolism of cyclosporin to decrease. This can lead to potentially dangerous increases in cyclosporin blood concentrations. Carbamazepine, on the other hand, is a CYP3A inducer. More enzyme is produced, and the metabolism of cyclosporin increases. This leads to decreased blood cyclosporin concentrations and an increased risk that the patient's immune system will attack the transplanted organ. And it's not just traditional drugs that can change the activity of P450 enzymes. Some herbal teas, Grapefruit juice and even licorice can either induce or inhibit enzymes. Smoking induces some P450 enzymes and can lead to decreased concentrations of some drugs. If the patient is on a stable drug regimen, we can compensate. For example, if the patient is always taking the same dose of carbamazepine, we can adjust cyclosporin doses to take into account the interaction due to carbamazepine-inducing P450 enzymes. As long as the patient stays on both cyclosporin and carbamazepine at the same dose, things should be pretty stable. It's when interacting drugs are added or taken away from the patient's regimen that we need to be especially careful. For example, if a patient on cyclosporin gets an infection and is started on antibiotics like clarithromycin or rifampin, 
We need to anticipate the potential changes to cyclosporine concentrations, both when the patient is started on the antibiotic and when the antibiotics are stopped. In the well-stirred model, intrinsic clearance is partially determined by the effect of biotransformation of drug molecules into more water-soluble forms during phase one metabolism. Interacting drugs can either induce or inhibit the enzymes of the cytochrome P450 system, leading to significant changes in a patient's hepatic clearance.